Chemistry is not difficult. Chemistry is magic. Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the world of the chemistry. So, dear students, today in chemistry, we will be in a phase equilibrium talk about phase diagram of two component system so till the point of time we will see in phase diagram of two component system when two solid components are mixed and they are brought to some liquid mixture and when they do a crystallite form their liquid uh, mixture is just two component without undergoing any chemical reaction such kind of system we gonna call a eutectic system right or eutectic phase diagram because it is one fixed compos composition at fixed extreme sorry fixed external pressure which become composition at which both of the components are in a saturated solubility position right so this is a uh, we gonna uh, uh, we are already discuss what is a eutectic system that is called uh, uh, lead and silver system. There are four phases: solid silver, solid lead, solution of melt of silver and lead and vapor. But here vapor can be ignored because at constant pressure this can be negligible. So the so we can apply condensed phase rule what is condensed phase rule f dash is equal to c minus p plus one in a phase rule there is a plus two but here plus one we also discuss about some curve curve oa this is called uh, freezing point curve of silver and uh, uh, point a what is the melting point of uh, silver is 961 degree on celsius right another one is curve b it is called freezing curve or melting curve of lead and uh what is the melting point of lead that is three to seven degree on celsius now what is the degree of freedom of curve right you all know how to calculate uh, this curve uh, but here you gonna apply reduce phase rule that is f does is equal to c minus p plus one here two component systems so c is equal to two here two phases right uh, solid ag and liquid melt and another one is solid pb and liquid melt so two phases available and plus one so f does is equal to one so degree of freedom is univariant which means either temperature or composition must be fixed to define the system right we also discuss about area the uh, area above the line this is called aob has a single phase only melt so that's why f does is equal to 2 the system is bivariant which means both the temperature and composition have to be fixed to define the system completely we also discuss about uh, some eutectic point that is called o where the curve o a and b o meet at the point a and temperature of this point is 303 degree on celsius where three phases solid ag solid pb and liquid melt are in a equilibrium so f does is equal to zero because the system is already in equilibrium condition the system is called non-variant right but at that point the composition of lead is 97.4 degree on celsius plus uh, 2.6 degree of percentage of silver this is called eutectic composition right we already discussed about all this and one more one more thing is desilverization of lead also you can say partition procedure this is called which uh, used for the recovery of silver from argent to ferrous lead it is known as a partition process right so moreover we gonna move uh, about 
our today's topic is congruent melting point system zn and mg so first of all you have to know about congruent melting point as i told you above uh, the system is said to a congruent melting point when it melts at a sharp temperature sharp temperature e melt thava mande and to to give a liquid solid ma thi thoda j sharp temperature e liquid male ane e liquid nu composition kevu hoy to ke give a liquid of the same composition as this solid etle ke pehla solid ma thi jare apne ene liquid ma convert karyu hoy tyare enu je composition hoy original evu j apne free thi composition liquid nu jova made right and the temperature at which such a compound melts it called the congruent melting point so here we are uh, uh, going to discuss about this congruent melting point system that is called zn and mg system right so a substance is said to a possess a congruent melting point if it melts completely into liquid phase having some composition as they of the solid phase right so zinc and magnesium combine chemically to form a intermediate compound that is called mgzn twice and the composition of we which by weight mg is 79% and zn is 21% right this is a congruent melting point here zn and mg combine chemically and to form a intermediate that is called mg and zn but in a eutectic system that is lead and silver system there is a only lead and silver uh, mixed together but they do not form any intermediate compound right so that's why this is called easy eutectic system but here in congruent melting point zn and mg uh, combine chemically and to form a intermediate and the compound is comparatively stable and melts without change in a composition so this phase diagram have four phases which one is solid magnesium second is solid zinc uh, another one is mg zn twice that is called intermediate and another one is solid and solid of zinc and magnesium this is also called a melt melt of solid and zinc so let's have a look at into a figure so this is a phase diagram of zn and mg uh, in x axis uh, uh, we take a molar composition and y axis we, we can take a temperature so here uh in the left side 100% zn we take and right side 100% mg right so point a look at point a is the melting point of zn uh, what is the temperature 420 degree on celsius in the right side at a point b this is a melting point of mg uh 6 uh, 650 degree on celsius so four phases zn mg and intermediate you can say the intermediate mg zn twice and upon melt this is a four phase melt right so here uh, you can see the figure so now what is curve ac so look at the figure of curve ac you can see left side curve ac it is the freezing point curve of zinc or you can also say melting curve of zinc it represent the equilibrium between solid zinc and solution of melt it shows that the melting point of zinc falls by addition of magnesium right if uh, uh, there is a in a uh, sorry in a left side we can take a zinc 100% zinc if we gradually add magnesium mg right so it's a uh, uh, graph is decrease the line is decreases at point c by addition of magnesium right so its melting point is decreases gradually so it is called melting point or freezing point of curve ac right when mg is added to a zn gradually the melting point of zn is lowered along the curve ac and along this curve solid zn is in equilibrium with melt so 
there are two phases along this curve and on applying the condensed phase rule here also we can apply condensed phase rule f is equal to c minus p plus 1 c is equal to 2 there is a two component system what uh, uh, mgn zn there is a two component right phase also 2 and 1 so is equal to 1 so we see that it is a monovariant system it means only the composition varies along this curve right so moreover curve be curve b at point b this represent the melting point of pure mg here at point b only pure mg can exist at a 650 degree on celsius and it is the freezing point curve of magnesium also you can say melting curve of magnesium uh, when zn is added to mg gradually melting point of mg is lowered along the curve be and along the curve be solid mg is in a equilibrium with melt again this is also a monovariant curve having a degree of freedom right so you can see the uh, in the right curve be in a curve be at a point b is a pure mg and we gradually added into zn so melting point mg is gradually decreases at point e right so this is called a freezing curve of magnesium now curve dc you can see curve dc tn c right so the curve uh, dc is represent the solid form of mg and zn twice right i can uh, forget the uh, point about d but uh, uh, in a c there is a curve d right okay so when uh, zn is added the melting point of compound mg zn twice lower along this curve right so uh, when we uh, uh, in a in a right, uh, left side the pure zn is present when we add mg so it becomes chemically react and to form a intermediate at a point c the form of intermediate it is mg and zn twice is present at point c right curve de now you can see curve de this curve represents the melting curve of mg and zn twice when mg is added right so here we uh, we uh, we, uh, we are gonna lo uh, lose our temperature so the curve is mg and zn twice is gradually uh, decreases now eutectic point at a point c two curve sen dc interest of point c three phases solid zn compound of mg and zn twice and melt are in equilibrium at this point so on applying phase rule f is equal to c minus p plus one is equal to zero so we uh, we see that point c is a non variant point c so this is called a eutectic point point e so this is a point where curve d e and b e interact and here also three phases solid mg compound of mg and zn twice and melt are in equilibrium at this point again it is non variant and known as a eutectic point at point d is the liquid and solid have the same composition and mg zn twice uh, this point D is the congruent point of temperature 590 degree on Celsius correspond to this point is known as a congruent melting point of Mg Zn 2i. So at a point uh, C it is the first eutectic point right of the system where three phases uh, solid zinc Mg Zn twice and solution are in equilibrium. So the solid phase separating as a eutectic uh, uh, corporation of R zinc and Mg Zn twice. So this is also non variant. At a point E is the second eutectic point of the system where three phases available, right? And you uh, point D is a melting point of 
MgZ and twice. In case uh, solution and solid of the su some composition are in equilibrium at point D, and two component system has become one component system. All right. Now area. So area above is A C D E B. You can say A C D E B. I forgot a point D, right? Um. So area above this system of solid mixture of zinc and magnesium is it is only one phase. You can say only one phase is a liquid melt. So hence P is equal to two and C is equal to one. So system is bivariant. So describe the system two variable temperature and concentration are must be required, right? Now effect of cooling. When liquid melt, it's cool at a point X. You can see uh, see in the figure when liquid melt is cooled at point X and it follow the path X Y and M G Z and Y separate out of Y and two phases. For example, solid M G twice and liquid are in the equilibrium and the degree of freedom is one. Or a further cooling curve follow the path Y C at C and solid Z and also separate out. So there will be three fa phases at point C. These phases are solid Z and solid Mg twice and melt T. Therefore, C is a monovariant, right? So now we have another system. This is not in your syllabus, for, uh, but this is for your kind information. Uh, NaCl and H2O system. So let's uh, look at have a, a figure. This is a NaCl and H2O. In a, a left side, we can take 100% H2O. In a left side, we can take 100% of NaCl. Curve AB and curve B, uh, BC, you can see. In a curve, uh, curve AC, we can take H2O. In a curve BE, we can take a NaCl. But at point A is a freezing point of water, is it? You can say what is the freezing point of water? Zero degree on Celsius, right? So when NaCl is added gradually in it, its freezing point is lowered along the curve AB. You can see in the figure at point A, it is zero degree on Celsius. We can add gradually NaCl. It's like after that, slowly, slowly NaCl will increase. Then, no, freeze. Sorry, freezing point. What was the cell? Lower the cell. Remember, along with curve AB. Ice and saturated solution are in the equilibrium with Coulomb AB and system is univariant. Here also you can use condensed phase rule. At point B is a minus 21.2 degree Celsius and new solid phase. NaCl and 2H2 are separated out from the solution, right? This is also chemical reaction and NaCl into 2H2 is separate out from the solution at point B. B. Right? You can see. Point B is the uh, cryphodric point where three phases uh, ice incongruent melting compound NaCl into 2H2O and the solution are in the equilibrium and the system is non variant. Below the point, only ice and NaCl H2O can exist, you know. Uh, on a further addition of NaCl, the freezing point rise along curve CB, which is the solubility curve of NaCl into 2H2O. And point C, 0 0.50 degree on Celsius, is the peritectic point. You can say eutectic peritectic, where the dihydrate changes into anhydrous and sodium chloride and solution. And CD is the solubility curve for the anhydrous sodium chloride, right? You can see in the figure. This is also for your kind information, NaCl and H2, this is not in your syllabus, right? So, thank you for cooperating.